Curious CBUS is WOSU's project where you submit your questions about our region, its people, or its history, and we assign a reporter or producer to investigate it. Today's question comes from Karen Wolford. She wants to know if the highways we drive in Ohio today follow the same path as Native American trails and wagon trails from centuries ago. The short answer is yes. Many of Ohio's major roadways lie on Native American trails that were later used by white settlers. Renowned Ohio archaeologist William Mills stated the fact plainly. In 1914, he wrote, the importance of the aboriginal trails of Ohio to the settlement and development of the state can hardly be overestimated. Before Europeans arrived, many Native American trails crisscrossed the state, but one particularly significant trail cut a north-south path directly through the heart of present-day Columbus. Much of what we call U.S. Route 23 was once known as the Scioto Trail. It was the great highway of the Shawnee tribe. From the fishing waters of Sandusky Bay, it led south along the Scioto River to present-day Portsmouth. From there, crossing the Ohio River gave access to the hunting grounds of Kentucky. There, it connected with another Native American trail known as the Warrior's Path. And together, they were among the most traveled routes of the pioneer days. After the Revolutionary War, white settlers used the trail to travel north from Portsmouth. Over the next few decades, many cities we know and love were founded along the trail. Chillicothe, Circleville, Columbus, and Delaware. In the 1820s, Colonel James Kilbourne, the founder of Worthington and a representative in the General Assembly, lobbied heavily for a proper road to connect Columbus to Lake Erie. The 106-mile-long Columbus and Sandusky Turnpike was open for business in 1834. People who paid a toll might have expected a well-made gravel road, but too often it was nothing but mud. In protest, disgruntled travelers reportedly destroyed the toll gates on more than one occasion. Learning from those mistakes, the southbound Columbus and Portsmouth Turnpike was made of gravel construction in 1847. In the early 1900s, as automobiles became more and more popular, Ohio invested in its highway system, paving roads and adding clearly marked lanes. In 1926, the road was incorporated into the United States numbered highway system and became U.S. Route 23. At that time, drivers could zoom up and down the state at 35 miles per hour without breaking the speed limit. So today, when you drive on Route 23, you're traveling on a road almost identical to the Scioto Trail, a path blazed by the Native Americans centuries ago. Do you have a question for Curious Bus? Head over to wosu.org curious to submit your idea, vote on which question we should investigate next, and see what we've covered so far.